In this clip, we will reduce a large number of variables into a small number of factors. We will also demonstrate methods of factor extraction and rotation. We will use the text survey data, which is now open. We would like to look at question 31A1 to question 31A12. These questions deal with the level of difficulty by faculty when they are using information technology in their classroom. We would like to see if we can reduce these 12 variables into a smaller number of factors. To do this, we go to Analyze, Data Reduction, Factor. This will open the Factor Analysis main dialog box. For our variables, we will select Q31A1 to, to Q31A12. We can choose a selection variable. For example, we would only want to analyze those faculty who are full professors. We will not select one here because we would like to analyze for all faculty at this time. To obtain descriptives of all chosen variables, we would choose the Descriptives button and choose Univariate Descriptives along with the default of our initial solution. For extraction, there are seven different extraction methods. Principal Components is chosen by default and is a method most often used. By default, eigenvalues over 1 are extracted. Instead, you can change this to request a specific number of factors. Rotation has the advantage of making a computation easier to interpret. None is the default rotation. Varymax is the rotation method that is most popular, though there are other rotation methods. We can save our scores to create factor variables for analysis. We aren't going to do this, so we'll just click Continue. If we want to control how the coefficients are displayed, we click Options. In our case, we want to display to be sorted by size. We can also choose to suppress some variables depending on their value. Now we're ready for analysis, so I clicked OK. Here are the descriptives that we asked for, mean, standard deviation. Here are the initial communalities, and here are the communality of the extraction. Communality is the variance that is explained by the common factors. If we look at the eigenvalues, we only see that two of them are greater than one. Therefore, only two factors will be extracted. If we move down, we can see the factor loadness in the component matrix. This matrix is not rotated, so let's move down to the rotated matrix. We can see by our values that these variables, Q31A2 through Q31A4, are loaded highly on factor 1. Starting with Q31A12, you can see this changes to having the components loaded highly on factor 2. So we would put these 12 variables into two factors those that are loaded highly on factor 1 and those that are loaded highly on factor 2. Now you know how to reduce a large number of variables into a smaller number of factors.